Hello friends, this video on wave optics part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 25 before going ahead with part 26. So let us look at the first problem. It says that a slit 4 cm wide is irradiated with microwaves of wavelength 2 cm. So that means width of the slit is equal to 4 cm and the wavelength is also equal to 2 cm. Find the angular spread of central maximum assuming incidence normal to the plate of the normal to the plane of the slit. That means let us suppose if we have a slit somewhat like this, this is my central maxima and then the alternate bright and dark fringes. So we have to calculate the angular spread of the central maximum. So this would be the angular spread of the central maximum. Let us call this angle as theta, this angle as theta. So what would be the angular spread? So looking at this diagram, we can say that the angular spread of central maximum will be equal to 2 theta. So we have to calculate the value of 2 theta. So what is this point? This point is secondary minima. This point is also minima, right? So what is the condition for minima? The condition for minima is A sin theta is equal to N lambda. And what is the value of N for this? For this point, it is N is equal to 1. This also N is equal to 1. So we put N is equal to 1 and we get A sin theta is equal to lambda or we get sin theta is equal to lambda by a that is 2 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2. So this gives theta is equal to 30 degrees therefore the angular spread which is equal to 2 theta is equal to 2 into 30 degrees that is equal to 60 degrees. So this would be the angular spread of the central maximum. Right? So what we did, because when we talk about the spread of central maximum, the endpoints of the central maximum are nothing but the minima. So we can apply the condition for minima at these two points. Right? Okay. Because this angle is the angle which is subtended by the first minima at the center. Similarly, this angle is the angle which is subtended by the first minima at the center. Let us look at the next problem which says that the light of wavelength 600 nanometers is incident normally on a slit of width 3 millimeters. So here the wavelength of light is given as 600 nanometers which can be written as 600 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters. It is incident normally on a slit of width 3 millimeter. So width of the slit is 3 millimeter which is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. So calculate the linear width of central maximum on a screen kept 3 meters away from the slit. So capital D is 3 meters. So here we have to, they, in the previous question we had to calculate the angular width of central maximum. Now we have to calculate the linear width. Let us suppose this is my slit, this is my central maxima. This is the midpoint of the slit. Right? So we have to calculate this distance. Right? So how do we calculate that? Here also we will apply the same thing. We will try to apply the condition for the first minima. So using the condition for first minima, we can calculate the value of this theta. Right? And what is this? This is D. Now let us suppose that this distance is X. So if we are able to calculate the value of X, then we can find out the width, the linear width because the linear width would be 2X. Right? So, so let us approach it in the same way. Condition for minima is A sin theta is equal to n lambda. So we are considering the first minima because at this point n is equal to 1. So we can write it as a sin theta is equal to lambda.
So from this we can say sin theta is equal to lambda by a. So lambda is 600 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by a is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. So sin theta Now, for very small values of theta, sine theta can be written as theta. So, theta is equal to 600 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Right? So, we have to calculate the linear width. That means we need to calculate the value of x. Now, if you look at this triangle, we can say that theta is nothing but tan theta. Right? This theta can be written as tan theta because for small values of theta, sine theta is approximately equal to theta which is approximately equal to tan theta. So we can write theta as x divided by d which is equal to 600 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Or we can say x is equal to 600 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 3 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this 3 and 3 will get cancelled. So we get 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters. Therefore what would be the width? Width will be 2 into x which is equal to 1 2 0 0 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters. That is equal to 1.2 millimeters. So this would be the linear width of the central maximum. Now let us look at the next problem. It says a parallel beam of light of wavelength 500 nanometer falls on a narrow slit and the resulting diffraction pattern is observed on a screen 1 meters away. So in this we are given a wavelength of 500 nanometers which is nothing but 500 into 10 to the power 9 minus 9 meters. Screen is placed 1 meters away from the slit. It is observed that the first minimum is at a distance of 2.5 millimeter from the center of the screen. It is always better to draw a rough diagram so that things become simpler for you. So it says that the first minimum is at a distance of 2.5 millimeter from the center of the screen. So that means this distance is 2.5 millimeter. So we have to calculate the width of the slit. Right? So now again the same condition for first minimum we can say a sine theta is equal to n lambda where n is equal to 1. So we can say a sine theta is equal to lambda or a is equal to lambda divided by sine theta. Now for small values of theta, sine theta becomes equal to theta. So this will be lambda divided by theta. So what is theta? Theta would be nothing but if you compare, if you try to construct this theta, theta is nothing but this 2.5 millimeter divided by d, right? So theta is nothing but 2.5 millimeters divided by capital D, which is 1 meter. Therefore, A will be equal to lambda, that is 500 into 10 to the power minus 9, divided by 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this comes out to be 0 0.2 millimeters. So this would be the width of the slit. Let us look at the last problem of this section. It says that estimate the distance for which ray optics is a good approximation for an aperture of 4 millimeter. So width of the aperture is 4 millimeter which is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters and wavelength 400 nanometers. That is 400 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So whenever we talk about approximation between ray optics and wave optics, I mean the limit between ray optics and wave optics, 
we will have to talk about the Fresnel's distance because Fresnel's distance tells us whether ray optics is a good approximation or not. So and Fresnel's distance is given by a square by lambda. So that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square divided by lambda which is 400 into 10 to the power minus 9. So this comes out to be 40 meters. So this is the distance for which ray optics is a good approximation. That means for distances lesser than Fresnel's distance, that means for distances lesser than 400 meters, ray optics is a good op approximation. Whereas for distances greater than this, ray optics is not a good approximation. So here we end our uh, discussion on diffraction and its applications and we start the next topic which is known as whole. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.